Have any of you ever wanted to turn 30 frames per second video into 60 frames per second video? Go back to 30 frames per second and we'll just go back to 60. Okay, so we're over in After Effects and we are going to convert 30 frames per second video into 60. So we're going to go to File and I'm going to take over this old video from one of my skate videos. So we're just going to drop it down. And uh, we got this. Uh, let's see, the first trick is a um, got a little nose manual. So we're going to trim this because this is very, very computer. Uh, intensive. Let's see when the clip ends. Okay, and I go off screen right there. So we've got a few second clip which will actually take a few minutes to render because that's just how it goes. And shortening that. So we're going to do a RAM preview. See, pretty easy, you know. And you can see how choppy it is because this was only shot at 30 frames per second. I mean, it still looks good. Cinematic, if you want to call it that. But, you know, say something happened and you wanted to do 60 frames per second. So, got that. It's a little choppy. You can see what's going on. But you want to speed it up or if you're trying to match another timeline. So, we're going to stop that. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to composition settings and see we got the natural frame rate and we're going to change it to 59.94. So we got that. Bam. And here's here's where all the magic happens because if I still ram preview this, it's not going to change anything. It's still going to be 30 frames a second. So you're going to go over here. And you're going to clip this. This is a uh, frame blending. So we click that. It's now enabled. And over here, here's the same little one. You know, you see the multiple frames. You click that. That's going to be a uh, little ugly draft, but we want maximum quality. So now I'm going to ram preview this, and I'll just speed it up. Okay, our ram preview is almost done. And so just remember how it looked 30. Now it's a lot smoother, but as you can see, there's some weird uh, warping and kind of this outside blur going around my body, uh, and it just kind of looks fluid, watery. It has this weird kind of, I wouldn't say CG effect to it, but it, it looks kind of messy. So if you get stuff like this on more complicated scenes you know because we have all these crazy backgrounds colors lights coming through the trees magic hour um, you know this is going to complicate and confuse the computer program so here's where you come over and you actually do time for some reason and i don't have the newer version of after effects which has a a real-time motion blur so i'm just having to use force motion blur it's not as good and let's see, let's try to find it. This is loading. See, it already looks a little bit better. You're not seeing any funky doodle stuff. Um, I like to do 10 samples just to be more computer intensive. Um, short angle, I think I do 360, I don't know. No, that actually makes it look too blurry if you guys can see. So I guess we'll go back to the 180. And let's just see what it looks like if I turn it off. You know, I'm still clear, but I'm going to get all this weird blur effect. So we're going to RAM preview this. Okay, so now the RAM preview is done. And it took a long time because of the motion blur. But it pretty much just blurs anything in motion and helps get rid of some of that warping and artifacting. So we're going to see how it looks now. So now it looks just a little bit more natural. You don't see all this uh, crazy fuzzy stuff going on. You know, it looks like it was actually filmed in uh, 60 frames per second. So... Uh, we're going to export this, and I'm going to just 
typically, I mean, hopefully if you, you guys know how to use After Effects, but I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put this in the render queue and export it because the screen capture software is not very good at picking up the 60 frames per second. So I'm going to show you the fully rendered products and compare them side by side. And you'll be able to see that it makes a huge difference. You know, it's not obviously as good as capturing something in the native 60 frames per second, but this is a worst case scenario and you know you have to do something and you're just stuck with no other options and it's free if you already own After Effects versus going to some of those crappy other programs that want you to pay money or they have malware um, so you guys can do this for video games if you accidentally record a game in 30 frames per second versus 60 um, it will probably take a long time so hopefully you have a beefy computer if you're doing something like that and uh Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll probably do some other tutorials, and here's the uh, before and after.